weather what is weather the weather keeps changing why because of the sun air and water the sun warms the earth it is hot when the sun is directly above your head it is not so hot when the sun goes down why does the wind blow well when the sun shines it heats up the land the warm air goes up the cool air rushes to take its place so the wind blows when the wind blows very gently it is called a breeze sometimes the wind blows very fast we call this a gale sometimes the wind moves with great speed and it rains very heavily we call this a storm a storm can cause damage it can break trees and damage buildings indian weather several hundred weather observatories or stations monitor the weather conditions all over india data regarding weather conditions is continuously collected recorded and processed at these centers daily weather forecasts are made on the basis of information provided by the various weather stations you must have seen the weather column in your daily newspaper and heard the weather news bulletin broadcast at the end of the 9 pm news on various news channels right the weather bulletins tell us about the time of sunrise sunset moonrise humidity maximum and minimum temperatures rainfall expected if any etc changes in weather rain rain is very welcome after the hot summer days In the rainy season we can see big and small clouds in the sky After a shower water collects in puddles Roads become slippery and muddy The farmers welcome the rain because it is good for their crops What happens if there is no rain If there is no rain there will be no crops and people will suffer from scarcity of food clouds clouds bring us rain cloudy days are cooler than sunny days are they not this is because the sun's rays cannot reach us because of the clouds but you must have seen that cloudy nights are warmer than clear nights this is so because the heat of the earth is not allowed to escape wind wind also affects the weather during summer hot winds called loo make the weather very unpleasant and uncomfortable during winter cold winds that blow make the days very cold strong winds cause storms and may even uproot trees and lamp posts windy days are not pleasant we only enjoy a gentle breeze factors responsible for change in weather first dew when water vapor condenses on cold objects dew is formed in winter mornings you must have seen that the grass in the fields is covered with small droplets of water have you ever noticed that At night the land cools faster 
so the water vapor in the air condenses on the grass. These drops of water are called dew. Second, frost. When objects are extremely cold, frost may be formed from water vapor. When nights are very cold, the ground temperature falls below zero degrees Celsius. The water on the ground freezes. This is called frost. Third, fog or cloud. When water vapor condenses on dust particles in the air, it forms clouds or fog. A fog is really a low cloud close to the ground. The water vapor condenses on particles of dust and smoke as very tiny water drops. These tiny water drops form fog. Have you ever seen fog? Fourth, snow. When water vapor freezes in the air, it forms crystals of ice called snow. If the cold in a layer of the atmosphere is so intense that it freezes the minute and tiny particles before they collect into raindrops, snowfall takes place. Have you ever seen snow falling? It looks beautiful. Precipitation Precipitation of water vapor occurs in different ways. First, rain is formed when drops of water in the clouds grow too large to stay up in the air. Second, if the falling rain freezes before it reaches the ground, it is called sleet. Third, if the raindrops already formed grow in size and are then frozen, the result is hail. To study the change in temperature, length of day or night, and humidity, record the maximum and minimum temperature, the time of sunrise and sunset, and humidity from the weather forecast column of the newspaper daily for about a month. Note the information in the form of a table. Using this information, make a graph for daily change in temperature, length of day, night and humidity. You can mark the days along x-axis and temperature, day or night length or humidity along the y-axis. Weather forecasting A weather forecast is usually restricted to a limited area, that is, a comparatively small area of the country. It could be for a city, a region. Updates on the local weather are normally published from a particular place. Many cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Ahmedabad, Shimla, etc., have their own weather news which are published in their local newspaper or on TV channels. Daily weather reports also provide information about the likely weather conditions valid for the next 24 hours or a few days. This daily weather report is called weather forecast. With rapid advances in technology, it is now possible to make increasingly Accurate weather forecasts. Instruments of weather forecasting. The instruments given are used for weather forecasting. Thermometer, an instrument which measures the temperature of the human body. 
air, liquid, etc. Anemometer. It measures wind speed. Rain gauge. A device for collecting and measuring the amount of rainfall. Barometer. An instrument used for measuring atmospheric pressure. Weather vane. An instrument which shows the direction of wind. The seasons. Why different seasons appear? See a globe and you will notice that the axis of the earth is tilted. Now the tilting of the earth as it moves around the sun is very important. This is because it causes the different seasons. Due to the tilt of the earth, one half of the earth will have the sun's rays falling directly upon it for one half of the year. When this happens, this half of the earth will have summers and the other half which is tilted away from the sun has winters. But during the other half of the year, the first half of the earth is away from the sun, so it will have winters and second half will have summers. The heat received by the earth is more in summer than in winter because the direct rays of the sun are warmer than the slanting rays. During the day, the land gets warm faster than the water. So naturally, the air above the land is warmer than the air above the sea. Summer and Rainy Seasons Weather changes occur during the year. During some months, it is very hot. During some months, it is cold. Sometimes, it rains a lot. In India, we have three main seasons. The rainy season, the winter season, and the summer season. It is very hot during the summer season. The days are long and warm. People like to stay at home most of the time and drink plenty of cold drinks. During the rainy season, it rains a lot in most parts of India. Winds blow and clouds become dark grey. Winter season The winter season is the coldest season. The days are short. In many parts of India, it is very cold. People wear woolen clothes. There is snow in some parts of our country. But in some parts of India, it is not cold even during the winter season. When seasons change, we wear clothes to suit the weather. We get different kinds of fruits and vegetables in different seasons.